Hello, my name is Mark Jones. I'm a watch manager at Control uh, as operational tactical advisor. I've worked for Kent Fire and Rescue for 20 years, and this is my story. Uh, six and a half years ago, uh, at the end of season uh, rugby festival on Bank Holiday weekend at Country Rugby Club, uh, playing in a veterans game versus coaches and dads, I had a slight misfortune where I collapsed on the side of the pitch. As I collapsed, uh, initially it was a heart attack and then it went into full cardiac arrest. Um, the people around me, they called for defib, which was in the clubhouse. Uh, one of the lads ran up to get it. I uh, asked my son who was working on the barbecue, your dad needs the defib. Um, and my son Ben thought, well dad's always looking after people, I'll go and get it and take it down to him because somebody's obviously had a heart attack. Uh, he collected the defib from the club, brought it down to me and once he got close to the melee and crowd of people around me, realised it was me, he was quickly taken away and uh, the defib was put to good use. Uh, the next memory I have is waking up in hospital on Thursday, so four days later, surrounded by beeping machines um, with tubes in my arm and one in my neck, wondering what the hell has happened. A couple of doctors popped in uh, and said um, and told me what had happened, uh, which was quite a shock. Uh, I burst into tears, uh, not really understanding the gravity of the situation. Um, they told me I'd had a cardiac arrest, I'd actually been dead for a number of minutes, uh, about 15 minutes, and uh, I survived. Um, using a defib, um, CPR from the people around me. If somebody collapses in front of you, uh, it is unlikely that they will survive if you don't intervene, uh, unfortunately. If they uh, are not breathing or they need a defib, then your actions can save their lives. Using a defib is very easy. Uh, you don't need formal training, but formal training helps. And, and effective CPR can save a life. If that person is clinically dead, i.e. not breathing, or there's no pulse, anything you do is not gonna make that person worse. Trying CPR, using a defib, can help them save that life. In support of Restart a Heart, Kent Fire and Rescue is holding a number of events across the county this week. To find out these locations, please check our website.